Good afternoon guys, Kelvin Hernandez here from Master Automotive Training, smartautotraining.com. Today we'll be breaking down the visual inspection process, what to do, what two main components we'll always be looking for, and how to find what emission components. Today we're going to be doing the process on this nice Toyota Corolla here, so let's get to it. So our first step for a visual inspection would be identifying the vehicle. So let's go ahead and head on to our Toyota Corolla here. We're going to be looking for our emission label. As we see here, we have no emission label on our actual hood, so we're going to go to our white book here. Our white book, as you can see, should be up to date. Our motor edition book, we look here, we have a 1993 Corolla. It's going to be a 1.6 engine, and we're going to look for California emissions. So as we see here, we found the Corolla. So now we're going to identify what emission components it has. As we look here, we work our way down, and we see we're going to be looking for PCV. We're going to head to the vehicle and look for the main components. So for PCV system, we'll be expecting our oil cap. We want to take a look at our oil cap and look at our O-ring, make sure it's there and it's sealing. We see there, we want to replace it back. Then we want to take a look at our oil dipstick, make sure our seal is there and it's actually sealing the dipstick so no crankcase smoke can be released. And then as well, we want to look at our PCV valve and our PCV hose. This here would be our PCV vacuum hose. And then as well, we want to check our valve, our grommet is sitting there and our vapor hose from our PCV system. They're all intact there, so I would be giving this PCV system a pass today. So that would be our visual inspection portion just for the PCV system. So we'll go ahead and head on to the next component on this vehicle, which would be our EVAP portion. We'll head to it next. 